What's up guys, with one day away from the head start of Blade and Soul, we're going to look at some cool data that has been data mined uh, thanks to a Reddit user here, uh, Talented. He went ahead and found out that as of this posting, two hours ago, there was 39,000 unique character names taken and 25,000 unique character names on the EU servers. Uh, a further update going down in the comments section, you can find out a current population about 27 minutes ago there's 42,000 North American unique names and 26,000 uh, unique names in EU very very interesting there there's actually more EU servers too on the list it looked like there was 12 EU servers versus 10 in North America and we did get some great information out of the live stream today saying that the Mushin server on the North America is the most populated server and you should expect queues on the Mushin server. So if you do not want to play on a you know crowded, over queued server, uh, do not roll on Mushin. Do not uh, select Mushin as your server. Mushin server pretty much is near capacity, and they are expecting queues even in the head start. So if you have a character on Mushin, you might want to re-roll a new character on a different server uh, because again the the queues, it seems like it's pretty bad. They made it abundantly clear in the live stream that Mushin server is pretty much, you know, at capacity and you're going to have queues uh, guaranteed during the head start and even more so during the official launch when, you know, free to play players come in. So Mushin server does not look to be, uh, you know, maybe it is look to be your kind of server. If you want to have a heavy, heavy populated server, uh, Mushin will be the one for you. If you want, a server where we can jump right in and play regardless of uh, whether it's you know 4 p.m. in the afternoon or 3 p.m. Uh, in the afternoon or 3 a.m. or you know want to just hop in right away without having to wait 10, 15, maybe an hour. Who knows how long the queues will be? Um, you know, choose a different server. All the uh, instances are cross-server, so you don't have any worry about playing with people from different servers. And from my understanding, all the PvP is also cross-server as well. So there shouldn't be any issues with that. It's everything should be cross server to my understanding. I know for a fact the dungeons are. I'm just not 100% certain on the PvP, uh, the arenas. I'm assuming that it is. Please let me know down in the comments if I'm uh, mistaken on that. And there's also one last bit of information that's been data mined out of this, and that's the uh, character breakdowns of classes. So you can see here, Blade Master is at 21% approximately. Uh, Assassin's at 16, or approximately 17, rounding up. Force Master is again right there at 16, and then going all the way down to the Blade Dancer, who is the least popular class here at a little bit over 10% there. Very, very interesting. I'm personally rolling a Destroyer, uh, so it's very interesting to see that I'm playing one of the uh, least popular classes in game. And yeah, what class are you guys playing here for Blade and Soul during the head start? Are you going to play multiple characters? Uh, you know, what server did you pick? Did you pick Mushin? Are you going to re-roll, possibly move off of Mushin because of the queues? Uh, let me know in the comment section, and we'll get a full recap of the live stream up very, very soon for you. Uh, stay tuned here. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button, and definitely comment. Let us know what your what class you're playing in Blade and Soul, what server you on, and, uh, you know, what you think about having this kind of population here for, uh, for Head Start. 42,000 approximately in North America. Of course, some of those are GM characters and Insoft uh, employees. And 26,000 in the EU servers. That's, EU is quite surprisingly small because obviously some North American players went over there and, you know, pick some EU names and, you know, did some name reservations, got a head start over there. Uh, so surprisingly small. Of course, this is not going to be exactly accurate as well. Again, there's NC employees, uh, EU players have also done the same thing, taken uh, names on the North American server. Uh, so yeah, so the overall population is probably realistically around 35,000 for North America and probably around 20,000 for EU.